tile. Change it to Ori. Um, okay, Genji on defense, Team Secret on attack. Genji doing their signature of Double Sheriff. The raid boss. They're looking to make that impact happen. Genji though, same composition, same thing all the time. They have had, you know, mixed back of performances. Remember, this is the map where they only... But have older viewers group 40 plus, I don't know. May maybe some, probably. I know my granddad likes to watch sometimes. From Gen G, so um, right off the bat, okay, and so recon over towards A, it's trying like to deep into that there, one up. All the way in the backside of A, and a nice pick through mid. But Texture, kind of suspecting a B push initially, hears all that movement in mid. And he wants to take some space, he'll be controlling B main for the time being. Yeah, finds that pick, and he's continuing to peek out, doesn't see all too much, so definitely making some calls all throughout the rest of the team. You can see that Karen's starting to this dwindle back. Kill of middle was giant. This is going to be pretty good though, Texture clearing over yeah, towards B, while they hear this pressure. So, they change roles in middle, one to watch the two can hold. Now Gen G just looking to buy some time, Karen is stuck, Lacka has to get the kill, and he will get two! <laughs> it's ridiculous how much the sheriff gets them on pistol. It, I can see why some teams have stolen this. I don't think teams do it as well as Genji. I don't know how they consistently, like the individuals consistently just wreck people. And of course, Which is everyone's team buying team ghosts and they just double body shot. With all the utility sent, it yep, thank you for the replay. <laughs> and Genji's prepared for the hit. Okay, there we go. Uh, ah, dude, they really uh, I mean, just in case anyone really hit us with the suspense. Listen, I know Lockyaw obviously he's had a great career in the past as well, and he's had some shining moments in you know on and off. But the thing is, is we've actually never really quite idea. seen this consistency of aim, like pure just aim uh, for him. Whoa. When it comes to match to match, what the hell's going on here? Two, team secret. They're not slowing down. They want to push the tempo, recognizing that it could still be a weak hold on to the beast. So they want to pressure they only bought uh, they have the opportunity before the they only bought these two guns into it. With their setups. Yeah, the chance of getting eco is right really oh, it's a lot higher than normal. Okay, yeah, and, and they kind of just get punished for the fact that they only bought two guns, and one of them, one of them was a uh, singer, one of them was a guardian. You look at the KO, right? So you I the guess Silva, they're using this to test some stuff because that is really bold. Playing it very systematically, playing it slow, digging for that information, and you're just looking to command the tempo any chance you get. You know, you have an eco, it, just barrel through like thrifty, you just but this in theory should site. have some okay guns. Now, maybe that causes the cypher setups to be a bit more passive. We'll have to wait Make and see. And this, and already this somehow looks pretty much exactly. Destroying that. This is basically as good as their uh. Some trips Second round by. I mean, the, the slight weak point from Gen G Sunset just last week oh. was, you know, Meteor kind of losing out in the, all these early fights, having several first Meteor hits as well. Understanding and, uh, that he's going to be dueling in front of his trip the whole time, so he doesn't you place know, his trip even speed. after he hears the shot. But at the same time, it's very interesting how Jesse Vash is utilizing his utility right now. Texture just getting first contact. Uh, Team Secret wasn't quite. Yeah, that is the, the hero gun down. So Lack is probably going to fight this pretty heavy. Be able to oh, hey, the, the, oh the extra, uh, the extra swing on that was pretty again. good. It's unlucky. He has been as calm as ever today here on the first map of Sunset. Numbers advantage still for Team Secret, the four to three. The health a little uh, bit risky. Love simplicity with the prime. Thank you, you for doing that. Thank you, thank you, Van Silly as well. For God's sake, Van Silly. Dude, isn't it like 3 a.m. for you? Why, why, Van Silly? Not gonna be able to find too Spike much. Planted. Entrance has been smoked <laughs> off as well, so yeah. Go to bed, man. To the other side, but <laughs> Thank you for the gift. It's not quite favoring him. And look at how Team Secret is stacking up. They know their jobs. 1 a.m. That's not that bad. Spike, 2G watching the angles. <laughs> That's not that bad. Suspecting him to come entirely from back site though, because there's not a. It's 4 a.m. 4 a.m. for some of you. Uh, no. 2G, of course, the jiggle is good. Creates that angle advantage for himself. So Team Secret, I mean, this was pretty much their bonus, obviously, taking that third Morning, Bacon. Um, no, I cannot. That Thank you for the comment. The there are several members break that 5,000 credit bar. 2G leading the charge. We've talked a lot about Wild Oreo today, but 2G started off... Dude, there's so many 4 a.m.ers here. Compared to Wild Oreo, because since, you know, Wild Oreo had such an explosive start, but... 
2GE, he's kind of reminded everyone why he was picked up. By All right, RG give me the buy v buy. Got to stay on that roster and why he stayed on that roster. on defense, Omen on attack. On the That's right, a very reliable player to say the least. And Big change up from Gen G on this one. As well, but for now, Team Secret not dropping down. Dude, Munchkins used all of his util. Right in. They're already taking elbow control, looking yeah, for more 10 space seconds in. against Gen G. They've got the full buys though, Gen G, and they're trying to fight back, holding up from generator now, but the shots through the cyber cage. Wild Oreo takes one down, Jeremy on another, and then 2GE chimes in. Oh, this was Gen G, I think, overcooking just a bit. I mean, Lockheed was pinged, and they were trying to use that opportunity to set Munchkin up for a better kill. But all his teammates fall like flies all around him through yeah, the Yeah, pretty smoke. much nailed it, man. Now it's a two-man retake. Now just one. Holy, oh, well, this one fell apart. They did. No damage. So they only have to rebuy a util until his kill. Ah, no kill. I can't even get that right. Oh, damage. Yeah, they want it more. I mean, W was not kidding, Will. He mentioned in that pre match interview, you know, talking about how they're, you know, just. Have I looked at which region I get the highest viewership on? Um, yeah, I think it's EMEA. Pacific's growing a little bit faster, though. To get the most like follows and stuff and then america's is just too stacked man there's too many streamers and that was Gen G even trying to get ahead of Team Secret, setting up the Cypher trips over um, on A, right? Lumpel Stiltski with the six months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. But the execution of it, not so much. Making a big hit from the start. And now Team Secret, they'll slow it down again. Tempo entirely in the hands of Team Secret. Taking and it has Tarek, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it summed up. And now they'll just slow it down. Eco for Gen G. They're dying for information, but they will not be given any. Yeah, it's, it's the mind games right now. If you're Gen G, you're definitely considering the fact that they might be up around mid. But All right, man, silly man. So go go get some sleep, man. Enjoy it. Drone, Thank for the gifted. Thank you. Up a bit of information that confirms mid <laughs> from Team Secret. Now, if Gen G has any respect for Team Secret, they should suspect that there was hey, probably lit. at least another person there. Nice shot, dude. See a nice headshot Are you sleeping? Jeremy, but that's going to be the reaction from mid. Dude, Munchkin so peaks middle. Secret still holding He's sleeping? Of mid, which means that the He's the one that's peaking. But now the pinch onto A. Wild Oreo has to win this. The fault line is yeah, and with the info, they can make sure their stun's good. They can make sure the omen flash is good. Gen G will give him that space. They'll respect it. Texture is trying to create a crack in the plan. But is wary of it. He has been yeah, it was looking good. It, it fell apart from the eco over towards the mid. Push right on through. Uh, yeah, with the plant, the they one away from Silver or as well for the next big buy round. Did you're probably going to see a uh, Genji timeout after this. again, the last man standing for Genji. Uh, we've seen him do insane things with the Sheriff, actually on this map specifically. Oh, drilled from but Team Secret? Yeah, this is... After it's solid. Know your location is going to be a bit tough, okay. but that's what I'm telling you. You don't want to give him the fights. We're right? actually at the point where we've got one, two, three, four. We've basically got five people that hit 9k. This gets 400 away. That's it. Another point towards his ultimate, the Rolling Thunder. And you can see he's wanting it, but 2G will just finish off the kill. Getting one step closer to the From the Shadows on that omen. That said, though, this is a very impressive start from Team Secret. It's a commanding lead, four rounds in a row now. And it trash is useless in APAC. It's the same in China. The way that they're playing around Everyone this just map, turns like it. you mentioned, Will, uh, the, the way that they're working around it, and then this time just switching things up all around the sites, uh, going back to slowing down the pace, going for that early mid control, and then executing off of it. Gen G are kind of struggling to, to read this and adapt to this. And now the trips falling even Fast further behind. Split. They know that there's been this lineup from Jesse Vash from spawn. Fast B so split from the middle. There, oh, it's real good. This could be an opt yeah, he's here very early. Secret, pushing the tempo again. Gen G is just not reading the tempo control for secret right now. Meteor will get one kill. But texture, he's been noted. The Hunter's Fury rounds him out, and he has Dude, been Dude, this is a nice strat, though. I feel like Gen G did insanely well to actually get this to a three on three. Again, ready for the plan. Jesse Vash already making his way. This is cool, man. It reminds me of, like, the right Haven split. So where quick. you send someone free V. So relentless. That operator oh. now handed over. Karen, though, spots out. Jesse Vash up around mid. Tries to the Neon was just here so, so fast. Head. Jesse Vash now will be able to take market control, and that is going to be a yeah, thorn Team in Secret the side have been hard to work. Munchkin 
just ignores that and decides to push through. He's looking for even more just to try to get a little bit more control before they go in for that tap on the spike. He can't quite go through. Jesse Vash has finally spotted him. Lakia being steady as ever, gets the first shot, spots on the jiggle, but oh, he's running out yeah, of I time. I like this little early this peaks. Dude, Jesse Vash, respect, man. Yet again. I, I mean, Gen G. They look a little flustered in that round. I imagine a timeout might be in order here. Yeah, because yeah, I mean the buy rounds have just looked so the convincing. The you had going into each round was already off, right? You think they're going to go for a power play, then they stop, they spam through the smoke. Now you think, okay, they rushed it, uh, you know, going through mid, they slowed it down. Now they're going to try to wait because we're going to be buying it up, and then they say no, yeah. we're just taking control. It's the uh, it's the classic so strat of when the enemy team the buys a up, you just no go real fast. The op either gets over or it has good, to retake but he hasn't and really been able to catch on ducks above yet from the secret side yeah it's, it's been the easiest way of dealing with ops and you can kind of with the set strat you can make sure that you're always using util pushing them off or blocking vision a little bit lost in the sauce right now they don't really have that much data by four percent secret has all the data up against gen g not too bad that's why we're seeing these very specific uh, dedicated planets and, and how they want to take mid control. The Team West, we seem change up pace This so is kind of middle of the so pack, I would say. Really throws Genji off. And the way that Jeremy just sprints all the way up front mid with that fast lane, with that overdrive, really confuses them so much that Operator was such a big investment and was lost in that round. Yeah, they're not going to be getting that back. You do have the Blade Storm, though. So Genji, they have an opportunity to stem the bleeding. Obviously, they want to do that right now, already past the halfway mark of the defending side for Gen G. Trips now forward once again, trying to just stall any sort of push over on the main. Break the, it's going to be a push break the trip. as well, taking full control of the updraft over on the A side on the mini map. Like this from Munchkin. He, oh, he, he changed up. Exactly trip. That been there we go for the more standard one, not a one-way, but... Now, Five's the shock. They rely on that to go for a fast they execute way. on to the harder trip to break. Past the one minute mark, they will be in for a rude awakening. I like the little trips up around market as well, though. So Team Secret definitely making use of their own timeout as well, trying to get. Okay, so they feel like they created a little bit of pressure over towards B, setups. and now they take middle and they want to push this guy off towards A. Front. So we're going to see a Catcher drone towards A. right around the smoke just to check. Now you say, okay, they've taken mid control, but that's all right. Gen G, we can see on the minimap, they are well prepared for a takeover on mid. Meteor's going to be fishing. There's no way you go for this on your own. He's not going to be checking the left side. There is no oh, way you go for that on your own. I mean, there's just been no information on that okay. side. And playoffs G, game, he is not. Playoffs game, single again, limb, he does not do that. They don't want to too much, and this is something we recognize bleed abuse as well. Gen G does not want to use their util early because they rely on that in this composition as Texture gets taken out. Ooh, yeah, so that might be the... Uh, that might be what we talk about when when people want it more. Moving slowly around from B main. Caron's fast on the rotate. Bit of a painful loss, but the round's not over yet. Genji, they had the angles, but Jeremy just these by rounds, um, line of fire. It's all up to these by rounds, man. He's right behind them. Might just They're getting annihilated in these by rounds. Jesse Vash out, throws in a bit of a smoke. Just in Lilim, this game, no, not yet. Not yet. Angles. But then the fast lane uh, comes next up week, Jeremy next week for this event. And the fast lane, uh, this is perfect from Team Secret. Jeremy, oh, he's it's weak. so he's adorable. Yeah, almost gave him a couple of. 1v1 here. Yeah, imagine being the coach. You call a timeout. I mean, I mean unless he, unless he pulled that in the timeout and they have like a, a play where they want to solo re clear over towards middle. Further, it allows for Jeremy to about clearing the most common <laughs> angle that you insert. But yeah, if I, dude, if I was a coach and I called something, uh, and I called something big and one of my players did that, I'd be furious. Unless I told them to. And Genji, I mean, sure, you would like to push out aggressively at one point to meet them and fight them, but your shot is just broken every other round. This is an absolute shot. And the numbers advantage once again for Secret. You still hold control of the orb here in A main as well. Drone going to be used for safety. Trying to bait out a peek from Elbow as well. Charon will not fall for that one. Just trying to hide away from the drone for as long as possible. But they recognize he was there. He got a kill. Team Secret, this is where they slow things down. 
Karen doesn't want to give up control too early on though, so he tries to stay on the site. Punch can here to back him up. Oh, she flash. flash. Allow him to swap on over to elbow. Fragment just to stall a couple of seconds more, but unfortunately the shots just whizzing past Jesse Bash's head. It's all down to texture. Good couple of shots just to start things off. One shot. Swaps over onto the Vandal and Tailwinds to the back just to find more. But look at this high low setup the Team Secret has. Yeah, he's created the 50-50 that he might be wrapping around elbow, but like you said, the setup's very good from Secret, and there is just no way yeah, he can get more than one. Never that. That's way I low, never trading that. I mean, you always trade that. And Tier G will be wrapping it up for Secret. I mean, strategically, Team Secret seems to be ahead, but also individually, they're not falling off. I mean, how many games have we seen where Gen G might not always have the best freeze, but it's one or two guys that are able to keep them alive until everyone else comes online, but today, Nobody is able to stand up Evan? against some of these powers. It's 2GE 12 and 4 oh, in nine rounds so far as the one smokes on Team Secret. Yeah, and meanwhile, Jesse Vash uh, And we still come for this trip well, over towards B. Great, we get the op out, and this time it looks like Team Secret aren't going to go fast. So the op is a lot of opportunity to actually to get something here. Some Picks trips, up the trip. But Meteor has switched up the setups. Ooh, okay. Oh, this time he's just going to pull the, it back just the in The trip case. was Not just a holding sure place. Now he puts the good one out. Once again, it's a push through A. Now, a little bit too many smokes yeah, we got a one way smoke. We've got a smoke to advantage. beat the one way smoke right so they can't way. see your a feet. Lot of pings as well. I imagine Secret, they're going to try to continue to push the tempo to this gain is pretty just nice a bit more control. Karen, While they though. continue to fish for information in mid, oh. but as Wild Oreo goes down, Secret is now trapped. Oh, I don't like this one, though. But it's too much Dude, imagine they win it. 3v5, the they invest the uh, breach ult. He's just stay alive. It's a 3v2. Gen G has nice. to play the numbers game as they have always done so. Texture, op still in hand. That is going to make it a bit more difficult here on the retake. No oh, way, one of them's 21 HP. Left, but look at the quick peek out from Envy. Lakia down low HP. Couple of shots, and that could be the end of his life. Meteor trying to circle around from the back. They're waiting for those smokes to dissipate, but 2GE is trying to keep them on their toes. Jump peeking, in oh, still jump peeking along oh, God, with the two. Lakia trying to isolate and turn this into 1v1, but he's down so darn low, being very careful off around. So oh, my. So oh. Over the side, <laughs> what? The I've never seen that. The, I've never seen a Both double. Of Both of them are running out of ammo, as that was the round where Envy will get his I've never seen kill, the double. But I, I mean, that just tells you how much they had to think through, right? I mean, both of them just trying to fish for information. 2G constantly Indeed. spamming out shots. Not a chance to reload as both of them had to play against the clock. Uh, we don't see that every day where both of them just go down to the very last bullet. <laughs> Bit of an awkward, <laughs> awkward switch up there. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it believed <laughs> on that <laughs> one. Yeah, that, that went down right that to the wire. That was insane. But 2GE, I, I mean, played that so perfectly, just waiting until Envy has the right angle to pick out one of them. The recon over towards B main doesn't again. get shot, I mean, so they know that no one's deep over towards like B main. Secret is going Crypto against goes the in, grain doesn't break the of what you would normally think. Like in that again. previous round, a lot of teams, their Neon would get cut off and you would just slow down, and right? You would slowly re-clear, you'd say we have over a minute. You have to eco if they win this next one. They get 2-9 on top, everyone's no, sitting about 3. This far, they two, might be weak here, let's go in. Now the Hunter's Fury. Trying to just fish for information from both sides, trying to target the Silva as 2G will so, find a frag in the armor. So, so, so loose right now. That's a painful loss as well. How often do you see this, like, Gen G? Oh, what the hell? G having to play on the back of, like, so many half buys, force buys. Now they're back on a full buy. But it's been eight straight rounds, Will, that Team Secret has racked up. Swapping over onto the B Cage site trigger. now. Cages have been triggered by Meteor. He's calling the reinforcements over. They have to do their due diligence as they rotate through. Karen smokes Maybe it they off. Don't want to burn out the in just to it it out just feels backside. like it's one of those games where all the information that he needs. Lucky Lucky absolutely, absolutely annihilates off. everyone. I think it's one of those games where they probably Jeremy. have loads of anti. Why would you ever want to show it in a game that for you doesn't mean too much? But look at the reinforcements. Like, if you win just playing loose, and then you play them again in single or limb, then you can do your anti. And you can, like, look at some of the rounds you won as well and the rounds you lost and be like, another curveball against Karen. It's going to be two separate 1v1s. I just feel like, and you don't need to 
not going to show anything. Against Caron. Too many options for him to consider, and he goes out of the smoke. Caron's going to be waiting. Picks off the kill, but the clock's not on his side. Yes, He's running out conf. of time. He has to start the stick right now. Ooh. He finds 2GE. Yeah, and, and 2GE doesn't, doesn't fancy it during the, uh, during the spam Early of the smoke enough, up and tries to get the jewel. Finally, after all these rounds, stabilizing for Gen G. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was Good seven and, it was eight in a row. Round 10 is when it happens. With a one on two clutch as well. They they literally well, win a round with one person with surviving, has to rebuy to armor. It's 400, and then yeah, everyone else, from the rest everyone else has to buy. To anchor down the site. Everyone else, that's it. Once the spike gets if they get reset down, and lose the next, have 1,900. They're the so wrecked. Quite cleared out they have to win this round. From the spike. Thankfully, though, Karen was able to spot out 2G just at the very last second. He needs to win for Gen G to play Talon. Um, Gen G can't side. play Talon. It, it's yeah, either Team Gen Secret G or RRQ. That setup says, okay, if they do come into B, my goal will be to just survive and in the back site, not really give any extra room. That way we can start to go for the retake from Market as well, go for a bit of a pinch and a crossfire. So, a change of plans, especially yeah, after um, seeing Talon were, lost they on yesterday, the previous round, thanks to they good setup avoided they any possibility of them playing Genji. Team Secret are making use of this to pick up those alt orbs. Jeremy now has the overdrive. Envy has been sitting on this rolling thunder from the past round, and they might just be able to save it for the next. But here they go, fault lines in, overdrive out, and instantly Munchkin pops the null command. Good shot from Jeremy, though, nice he shot. comes in for a trade. Pushes <laughs> on through from B main. And with that, <laughs> look at some of the jewels the they're losing. Angles all being covered, sight being claimed Spike by planted. Team Secret. Yeah, the fault line into market, and then the flood in from main. The yeah. timing was perfect. And on top of that, you knew that you had kinda the rolling thunder, which meant that Genji had to respect shot. it. They had to back off. Get him will get one pick, but the moment. it's going to be like a, a player really diff. tough round for him if he wants to go all the way back around. Once again, your economy in shambles for Genji. I'm saying it is. I'm just saying it's what it looks like. It. It's going to be the last round of the half in the next. So you got to kind of pick and choose your poison here. Do you want the hero Vandal? Guy diff. It is the, the guy diff right now. one up as well in the next round. Well, or are you just enjoy this next round. You've got nothing. Go Hill. Mary, time not on his side. He's going to have to save it up. Yeah. Not going to be able to get that blade storm either. I think you want the hero Vandal, Will. Oh, my gosh. This is a tough Egypt call. can buy a gun with him. But that said, I mean, with a scoring line like this, at least he could maybe get knives. Yeah, I mean, sure. If you had he the could ego, go you aggro with two guns, get knives, drop the gun, then they have like three. He knew that if he wasn't getting early the most pick, it's call. three people that he would push in B main. Oh, a site notorious for the spam. But here, good correction from Jeremy, and instantly Would just I rather play RQ Team Secret or Talon? Oh, as Talon? From Team Secret. The executes have been clean, and the read on I'm the tempo has sure. been very good. Recognizing Gen G's tendencies on their timings of the rotation, the backup, I would and also the respect that Gen G's secret, going to but give. But it's hard to say that after looking at the score. With this last round of the half, it's a fast hit onto A. I think where I rate them, I think I rate RRQ Team Secret Talon. I think that's where I rate the three. But they're all very, very, very close. Rolling Thunder unleashed. Jeremy pushing on through. He's isolating Texture right now. Texture tries to stay alive with the Cloud Burst. The second one spent. Jeremy still keeping him pinned down. And there's the kill finally going through. Munch getting up from behind and he's trying to control the site. But that's it. Jeremy's still very much alive and Elbow is still being covered by Team Secret. Yeah. Gen G, they're stuck in the site themselves at that point. I mean, you've been cornered right in as Envy came in on the flank. Got another kill what to about his Zeta? name. Now okay, so you know the three teams that I just mentioned? Zeta Gen can hang G with those three teams on Ascent in the first and Haven. A devastating and then every other map, half for they can't hang. Only two rounds, and one of them was a pistol. Oh my goodness, you're right. That was a pistol, and then Team Secret won the subsequent the subsequent thrifty. That's unbelievable that we're seeing this up against Gen G. A Gen G that has been staying up on top. They've been going up off stage two with a big win streak, but now this is a slaughter. Yeah, I mean it's the easier side, I guess. Look the we're looking for some kind of copium. Based on the history of each team and their performances on the respective sides. Gen G, the chances aren't looking great. They are just getting out jeweled. Like, people are running through smokes out jeweled. Score differential right now. Eight extra rounds just to catch <laughs> up. Well, what a day to come. To cheer yes. for Team Secret, absolutely.
especially amongst all these Gen G fans. <laughs> and all these fans probably left home today thinking, ah, you know, it's unfortunate because today should just be another 2-0 for the Master Shanghai winners. But they're in for a rude surprise. Yeah, Laban Pinas. I mean, like, it's it's crazy how much prep work, how it's so supreme that Team Secret comes into this match with such a commanding lead. And it really, really shows once <laughs> Imagine again. Imagine being RRQ watching this. RRQ are just watching this. They know Team Secret out. win. G they got to play Gen G. With that paranoia. Gen G win. Always good for the entries and just everyone doing their they get job to play, uh, that they have. Alan. Team Secret right now looking for a fast push out of A main just so, to control so that orb. Can't imagine that the they're going to go all the way, but they will want to deny any sort of information from Gen G, leaving mid entirely open. So the uh, plan okay. should be to push I mean, out A main. This is again why we call it the Gen G pistol double share. Right Recon goes over towards A, they insert one, and Meanwhile, they're trying to make it look like they want to go fast over towards B. B but quite aggressive. What they're actually doing is funneling the reaction over towards the double share. Here it comes. Peaks Ooh. from mid. Jeremy gets traded off. Uh, Jeremy goes down, but that was a ghost versus a sheriff. Meteor. Just uh, the Jackman. Thank you so much, dude. Oh year as well, bro. Today. Thank you for the support, man. Appreciate so the prime. One for one trade, but no cipher on the side of Gen G. Even on the pistol, that means your flanks entirely open. You can't afford to leave anybody else. So they're actually just going to send texture on a bit of a fake mission, oh. trying to also hold on to the flank. That's the jet spotted. That's going to pull Envy the breach over towards a site. And now, Gen G relying on the fact that it should be a 3v2 going into B site. Texture will check for the rotates as well. That gives them the signal that they should have the numbers advantage if everything worked out correctly going into the B site. And they still have quite the utility to really break down this site as well. And it's got low HP, so should be through. wrecked. A, fault line a hit really good stun, though. Now they get push. three people here. And they're running and a out camera. of time. A recon in, and That's now the camera's in market. Secret has their reinforcements. The trade is coming out. Wild Oreo with quick Fire double. Down. The texture Beat. finds it right back at him. If he tries to swing from the side, but shut down by Locke, and that leaves Jesse Bash alone and cold with 14 HP. Right. Let's Gen see if they can do it. Let's see. Yeah, that was a tough one. Like you it's, said, the backup comes just in time. I know the score is mental, but it is 2-0 for pistols provide that backup first before your gun arrives as well but Genji they just flood in and they say okay our fundamentals are good that's how we've won so many matches that's how we won at Masters and the spacing was perfect Team Secret could not find their targets on the initial entry <laughs> right here Gigi, you see four people yeah. all in different positions the Couldn't teams get champs points in playoffs yes, yes that's gonna be they a desperately do. Need a piss you dodge Genji. the single Try limb to avoid the same mistake they so made if you come first in the first and second in your group you get, you not get just an extra Try point you don't get to play the single limb game and not that phantom texture oh, pushing down B main they're looking to just make it happen so quickly but with this early mid control the five stack from Team Secret they took down Meteor that's a potential sheriff that they can pick up You've got Karen just kind of looking around the backside as well so team secret has to watch out for that but meanwhile the site has been taken by genji yeah textures all alone oh. so he was absolutely Look trapped up I mean, the ball line kept the main force at bay Look <laughs> at how they're up. playing no this exit. one isolated Trying gun isolated gun annoyed. I mean, and obviously now, nice from Team Secret to use Util to isolate the guy in sight here, but... And now the firing starts, Lush can lock you, each get one lock, you're good for a double, as Envy will get two with his classic. Classic versus Guardian, Karen has he a half armor as well. Everything on paper tells you that Karen should be winning Walking this, but get he doesn't this gun have the middle. spike just yet. He wanted to make sure really he clears bombed, the site. And Envy, he's wrapped around, okay, and nice Karen will land the edge Karen shot, they did insane damage. saving Gen G yeah, from really humiliation. Yeah, down to the shooting game. Thankfully, the, the, the bigger weapon survives. But that's it. I mean, it got a good little bit oh, really good rounds. impacts Gen Insane G's damage. economy just a little. Uh, you can watch the way that they actually executed, right? I mean, the losing texture was such a big loss, but thankfully, Gen G had the protocols to go in for that fire and cover movement control. They were able to have that Guardian set up just to watch the back of the, the Spike Planter, and with that, they managed to get through. But that said, still, it's six rounds that Gen G needs to claw back up. See what they can do here. They'll scrape together whatever they have to make it five oh, oh, oh. rifles. One of them a guardian. And the team secret, they're just going to disrespect it, immediately pushing back out. I mean, they understand yeah, I mean, that look their at this composition fast is recoil. better at fighting. You have fast more stunts was sick. to really Gun, just flash, force the better swing. positioning. You have the better speed on top of this to see if anyone's the behind as well. Gen G will go for a fast rotation. the reaction, Wild once they realize there's like four, three people fighting to over towards A. Wants to make sure that back they, know, they only know about three. Holding on to Boba for the time being. Can't go too fast. 
just keeping that control allows them to sneak in through to market, which is a very yeah, valuable up to Munchkin. angle if they can take Munchkin down. Setting up for the retake now, but Munchkin has plans of his own, swings out the other side. Karen comes yeah, in to support as well. well. That's though. the trade that they're looking for. Jeremy able to take one down though, but here comes Latvia just to find the other lineup entry. <laughs> okay. Meteor getting yeah, they made, I mean, well, they made this one look easy. Nice, uh, nice save kill as well, just swinging yeah, and playing together this once. This is why so many teams don't like took, to uh, entirely empty the B site. Right? You want to hold oh, on to the Meteor knows Munchkin. Because then you know, the trips come out. If they have a Sage, the walls come out. And it just becomes an entire hassle, even if you hold on to Boba, because it's such a choke point to play on texture. Yeah, the they, now, they stunned overall, Flash and they had the dart behind. Secret. I think it was actually just great cover from uh, Lockheed and Kara. Honestly, if they want to do that fast, eh? To make sure that they can create double swings on both Dude, sides. this guy's laugh, man. Gen G trying to get fired up here. <laughs> yeah. Texture doing his usual thing. Lockheed leading with 15 kills. Just waiting, hoping that it's enough time for the rest of his teammates to get right back into form. Yeah, with a couple more hey, rounds, just another can eco. They can get some money. Can get Again, some money. Can get some results online as well. But Team Secret are they, I mean, they got the two main job. ones. One thing I've noticed is the way that they are actually taking on these fights. Secret, full pass and crunch middle. Against but the they're not the allowing Genji to fight full on this on ledge. If you want to know how like the hell you do this high, you go on this little box and then you go to this ledge. Yeah, I mean. That's how Gen G wins their matches. It's really, at the end of the day, it's with good trading. Take and if you can deny that opportunity, make sure you somehow always have the numbers advantage. That's going to be a nice way to combat this Korean squad. Jeremy holding an off angle. He's waiting for the support oh once God. again. Like you said, working on those advantages. Now, Meteor this time does get out alive, thankfully. But he just noticed the fault line. He notices Jeremy. He notices another and the full man swing out. It's three people. And so a B Gen here. G I mean, they don't have the guns, but there's a lot of people here. One flash out. Here. Texture has Wait, to hold that off omen the flood. flash. Can he be the damn that Gen G needs it? He'll be good for one, holding the line, repositioned. Is going to wait for the train in from Lakia. Kara good for two as well. And, yeah, and I wonder if you're going to see a timer from New Secret. Very aware of what the other is trying to this. do. Kara with the wall bags now puts Gen G up on six. I mean, you mentioned it, and they saw everything. That fault line just gave the biggest tell to Gen G that. All right, B site is open. Let's rotate through. Okay, no timeout. Bash caught on to it as well, and that's why they were rotating that quickly. It but is. Sense, just wasn't quite the big buy rounds, and the everyone's just using notes just into for it. a second as well, because Genji had the best covers. They were blocking out every single exit from the edges of that dark cover to mark it. So. Onto the yeah, next round. Now, see at least the these two this the opportunity for Team Secret to bring things back oh, to their side. Oh, they go for something yeah, fast. Yeah, well. it's be yeah all five people in invested into the mid, mid B well. crunch. Team Secret, wow, just this is really nice, though. In a matter of 10 seconds, it's yeah, two people from market, two people from B, and we're just out here. Crunch in here and here. Well, that looked very convincing. That was sick. I love the pace change coming out from Secret. And what a setup, too. Going for that high ground in mid to just cover both sides over by tiles and all the way bottom mid. I mean, they've, they've really been working on some of that stuff. I mean, you have to respect <laughs> They're bringing how much out everything. Has done coming into this. This, this wasn't off of a timeout. They planned this, you know, so many days ahead, and, and it really shows. They had that setup. They knew what they were going for. It's that high low setup. Jeremy sliding in and everything as well. And like you mentioned, in a matter of 10 seconds, Genji had no cool idea wise, what just hit good. them. Oh, Rolling Thunder saved over as well. Sure, Lockheed still. Yeah, they're going, going for another fast play. There's a trip that's going to wreck this guy. Pinch with the paranoia onto tiles. No they way. Will down. Jeremy still just barely goes forward enough. Oh my god. Now the oh, it just hit this guy. For the pinch. Spike still not discovered just yet. Munch, 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 they know Munch can take because he has to so flash. He is fighting for his life, and Lockheed comes in, buys just a few extra seconds. Oh, look at the confidence the that Jesse has Secret that his teammate's going to win this duel. He ends the swing to this guy in middle on his own. Just no trade opportunities yeah, available. Dude, he's fast. They the fast angles, defensive strats are sick. This breach breacher was incredible as well. It literally just hit this guy close. Made the other two, oh, another. sorry, other guy run away. It hit one of them as well. Switching up the pace, Genji is so surprised, so stunned that Rolling Thunder just connected. I mean, again, it's this composition of GMGs. It's great if you can slow things down. It's great if you can play default. 
But those early fights are not going to be good uh, for him. Now they got the server ult. If you want, They're doing they're another fast so strat with the server ult as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this is sick. This guy survives even though he got hit by the recon. We got a breach damage that killed him far back. Oh my god, they breached damage through here. Whoa, these free, these free rounds are insane. They, ex <laughs> they x on him. Three rounds in a row. On defense. Oh, that was cool. That was really, really cool. How many times did we see this in the first few rounds?